this is getting to be a bit of a habit. Another little lathe has followed me home, still on the trailer. And I'm not far from the auction house, but there in the background stands the empty Jones and Logland steel mill, the high part being the galvanizing line. Been out of business for several years as we become a post-industrial country. But it's a little craftsman lathe. Is the model 110. Next time you see it, it will be in my garage. Well, I'm back home, and uh, this lathe followed me all the way home, little uh, Craftsman 101, and I'm about to unload it. Okay, this is a family affair now, to getting this thing unloaded. That's my grandson Jordan up there, and my, my uh, other grandson is over there. Step into the picture, Russ. There's little Henry. He's going to be a machinist someday. All right, Russ, put Henry down and let's get that thing unloaded. You know, these things don't come off a trailer by themselves. Yeah, we know. Now be careful. Get your hard hats on. It's not too bad. Yeah. And this is how an old man unloads a lathe by standing behind the camera. Thank you, gentlemen. What do I owe you? $800. $800? $800. Yeah, $800. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Jordan is now much bigger than me. Drag that across the garage, please. Put that over by the other craftsman lathe, and I recommend that you guys buy small lathes, they're easy to move. Now this uh, Craftsman 101 will appear in uh, several of my videos, including how to buy a lathe. So that concludes a short little video on the little lathe that followed me home, the little craftsman lathe that followed me home. Thanks for watching. So watch for this lathe in my new series, How to Buy an Atlas Craftsman Lathe, along with the other one, soon to come at a theater near you.